Today we are going to show you how to make an analysis model of the steel tower and the class structures and send it to diamonds. Let us start by turning off everything we don't need to see. So all the bolts, the holes, the welds, the cuts and fittings and component symbols. We open analysis and design models. And we start by creating a new analysis model. The application is of course diamonds. So we will call this steel AM analysis model one. The analysis model content should not be on full model, but it should be on selected parts and loads. It's never good practice to select a full model as there is no engineering insight for the correct schematization. For the use of rigid links, for this particular example, I will choose disabled with keep access on no. And we hit OK. So in this new model, the part count is zero. Very logical because we will add all the analysis elements ourselves. You start by adding the most important elements in the structure first, from the ground up. Let's take a look at the model. So we have main legs, which are corner profiles and class 1. We have also braces, also an angle profile, class 3. We have some more main legs, but class 3. Then we have also arm braces class 1, arm braces class 2, and more braces class 3 and 4 and so on. So in our example, the pillars, so the main legs, are the most important. Then we will add the horizontal part of the wings. And lastly, all the other braces. I could now select all the columns by holding the shift button down and then the wings and so on. But here it's far more efficient to create a simple selection filter and apply it. So I'm opening the window for selection filters and let's create a new filter. We'll call this analysis model. Save it. We will add a new row and as we will first add all the main legs, the name should equal I'm selecting it from the model on this one and as we have multiple classes for the main legs I will add another row stating that the class should be one. I'm going to save it and let's apply it. When I form a selection operation right now I'm only selecting the main leg so that was the aim and I can now add them to the analysis model. Let's take a look at the properties of this newly added analysis element. As you can see the analysis bar is on the inside of the corner profile. I think I prefer that they will be outside of the corner profile because all the connections with the other braces are made on the outside. Let's take a look if we can change this. So I'm double clicking the analysis bar and the class is beam. Um, I would choose here to make it column. And if we uh, go to the position tab, the axis and neutral axis and keep the axis position is to no because we have stated this in um, the general settings of the analysis model. So I would prefer here to be at the reference axis and yes. And let's take a look if we modify it. So the analysis bar is gone. Well, if we take a closer look right now, you can see it's on the outside, so that's perfect. Um, I'm going to select all the other elements from the main legs and apply this and modify this to these ones and hit OK. Next, we will add the wings. So uh, for that, I will need to adjust the filter. Part name will now equal, I will select it from the model, arm brace. I, I'm applying the selection filter, selecting everything. And we have now only the 
uh, horizontal part of the wing selected and I can immediately add them to the analysis model. Let's take a look at the properties of these newly added elements and double clicking the bar. This is of the class column. I would prefer here that it was of the class beam. The position is the reference axis and the keep the axis position is to no. Uh, that's perfect for me. Let's select all the arm wings or the arm braces and modify them and hit OK. Now before we add all the other braces, let's take a look at the connection between these braces, the arm braces and the main legs. And let's zoom in a little bit and as you can see over here, there are two different nodes. For the analysis model, it's better if we join those two elements into one node and that means in our situation, in this situation, it means that we have to move this node up a little bit so it will be joined uh, with the other node. And you can simply do it by selecting the analysis bar, the endpoint, choose the move operation. And we do the same thing for the three other uh, sites. Okay, or looking a little bit further on the second wing, everything is okay. And on the last wing, we can see on the top part that it's the same situation, so that means moving all the analysis bars or the endpoints of the analysis bars. And now we can add all the other bracings. For that we need to adjust the filter a little bit. I will add another row. The name does not equal arm brace or does not equal main leg. One of those two. So we put them between brackets. And the class does not equal one. And I think we're we're done at that point. Let's apply the filter. Let's see what happens. And that is exactly the selection that I was looking for. So we're adding all the other elements. Okay. Let's take a look at the elements. I'm double clicking one. And the class is set to beam. I think it's better to choose here bracing truss and the position is reference axis, keep the axis position to no, that's perfect. So selecting all the elements again and modifying this. And okay. Before we send this model now to BIM Expert and to Diamonds for the structural analysis, it's very important that we do a quick check if all the nodes are correctly connected with each other and there are no errors in the model. So I'm closing uh, the filter uh, dialog now and let's have a quick look and I see that all the nodes are unique and the elements are well connected to each other. And there are no nodes close to each other that should be joined, so that seems to be quite okay. So here for the top, uh, you see there is a lot of difference between the original axis of the profile and the analysis bar. So in this case, you would you could choose. To, to move the analysis bar to the original position. So how do we fix this? Well, we double click the analysis bar and I would say that the position is, uh, the keep axis position is to yes and we can modify this. So then at this point, this element jumps to the original position. And if we now apply this 
for all the elements in the top part. Modify, you will see that position of the analysis bar is, is now almost identical to the original position of the, of the physical element. I think this is better for the top part um, because for the rest of the model, the, the settings were just fine. Um, and now we have a good analysis model to send to Diamonds and to send to BIM Expert. So, okay, let's close this. And at this point, we can call BIM Expert and send a model to Diamonds. Now the analysis model is automatically recognized and we hit OK because there is only one analysis model. Here we get an overview of all the uh, cross sections that are recognized by BIM Expert and will be translated into Diamond sections. And some sections are not recognized, but there will be new cross sections created in Diamonds. Uh, here we have the BIM Expert model. Everything is OK. Let's take a look. Yes. And we are now ready to export the model. We will send the model to Diamonds, of course. We can either save the model to file or send it to an open version of Diamonds and we will choose the last one. The model is gone. It's a transfer to Diamonds and indeed in Diamonds there's a message that we have received the model and we can load this model. Here we are, let's close this box. We don't need it anymore. And we go to a 3D view. Now the first thing we need to do in Diamonds before calculating is adding supports. So I'm selecting the four bottom nodes by holding the shift button down and I'm assigning a simple support. While we're here, let's take a look at the cross sections and indeed all the cross sections have been correctly transferred. Let's now calculate. First the mesh, of course, and now we do the analysis. And here are the results. We are currently looking at the vertical deformation, but we can also view other results such as the bending moments or, more interesting, the normal forces in the pillars. And that's it really. We have transferred the steel tower from Tecla structures to diamonds using BIM Expert. So thanks for watching.